I'm Jennifer Jolly. I'm a senior lecturer in the School of Education. My area of research is gifted education. My main areas of research are the history of gifted education and parents of gifted learners. Differentiating across low ability, average ability, high ability, typically you get focused on the low ability because that's where the need seems most obvious and the high ability kids tend to be left to their own devices when really they need to be stretched and engaged just as much as the low ability and the, the average ability students do. Um, we found in previous studies that they'll spend the first six months not learning anything new. So if you can imagine going to to school and not learning anything new for the first six months of school, that how boring that would be for somebody. And an analogy I like to use a lot, first day of class, is imagine, you know, a lot of people have been on an airplane, right? And you kind of zone out when they give this little safety demonstration about how to put on a seatbelt and put your mask on and whatnot. And I said, imagine that's every day of school for the first you know, month or so is the safety demonstration and you just keep zoning out day after day, day after day because you already know how to do that. You're not getting any new information. We don't do enough at the pre-service level to inform um, students, pre-service teachers about how to work with gifted students, even how to identify gifted students. So those things are important. Mm -hmm.